Hey, 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 okay. It's the most wonderful time of the year. No, it's not Christmas. It's the Grammy nominations for 2014, which is close enough to Christmas, so let's just get right into it. Um, we have the nominations that were released yesterday morning, but I didn't get a chance to... I talked about it a little on Twitter and stuff, and so did the rest of the world, but now we're going to discuss it in full. So, here are your nominees for the 2014 Grammys. Um, record of the Year. Let's start off with Record of the Year, since that's going to be one of the popular ones. Fancy by Iggy Azalea, Chandelier by Sia, Stay With Me, Sam Smith, Shake It Off, Taylor Swift, and All About the Bass by Megan Trainor. Now, All About the Bass is not going to win, mind you. All About the Bass was a hot-ass song. I hate it, but it was a hot-ass song, okay? Taylor Swift has potential to take this award with Shake It Off because she released that legendary-ass album. This legendary-ass album. So, she has potential to take it. Um, Stay With Me, however, by Sam Smith. I heard Sam Smith's album was really, really good. This is what I'm hearing from, like, Twitter and stuff. I didn't get a chance to purchase it because I'm not necessarily here for Stay With Me. Unless it's the Mary J. Blige version. Because she gave me the life when she got on there talking about some yay, yay, yay. You know, Mary. So, I would have to, like, get into, like, Sam Smith's fully to like really tell y'all if I believe he win anything but for me in general and chandelier is my sh chandelier is my shit I wanna swing from the chandelier good song but if you ask me Iggy Azalea unfortunately and fortunately for her like most people don't want to admit that Iggy Azalea will this year indeed at least win one Grammy at least minimum she's winning at least one and this might be it for me. I think, because like I said, Fancy slayed the entire summer. The entire summer. The summer in its entirety. And a little bit of spring. Which is for the most part of the year. And it's continued to be played in heavy rotation on the radio. So, from, from my perspective, Fancy, I believe, is going to win. Next category. Album of the Year. Morning Phase by Beck. Beyonce's Beyonce. Um, X by S. Sharon. The Lonely R by Sam Smith. And Girl by Pharrell. Now, drag a roll up the partition, please. Let me tell you why Beyonce is going to win. One, because if Beyonce even shows up, because you know Beyonce don't usually show up to awards unless you're giving her something. Uh, <laughs> she don't. Y'all know she don't. Beyonce do not show up to shit unless she is giving, she's getting an award or being honored. Hell, sometimes even if you give her an award, she still don't show up. But I think she's going to win album of the year. I really do. This is album of the year, right? And this is why. When she released Beyonce randomly in the middle of the night, it was a cold night, and someone came into my home and completely snatched my edges bald. I have no hair thanks to Beyonce, but that's that's my beehive talk. Um, I think she's gonna win this award, and it's not because all the other albums are bad. It's because that album was a randomly released, no publicity, no nothing, nobody knew about it. There was no videos, no single releases, nothing. And this video shitted on the iTunes chart. It shitted on the Billboard chart with nothing. Nobody knew about it but her and Lil Blue. So that's why I believe Beyonce is going to win album of the year. Don't get me wrong. These other albums are probably legendary. I'm sure they are. But I don't think they're going to. They don't have that. They didn't snatch my edges. Okay. Shit. Okay. Um, Song of the year. All about that bass. That's Megan Trainor. Chandelier by Sia. Shake it off by Taylor Swift. Stay with me and take me to church. Who is take me to church? I don't know what take me to church is. If you know, who sings take me to church? Put it on her. Um, Stay with me has to win something. And I believe this will be it. What is the Dark Child version? Is that the one with, um, what's her name? Um, Chicken Fried, Mary J. Blige? I don't know. Shake it off or um, stay with me. I think. Best new artist, Iggy Azalea, Bastille, Brandy Clark, Ham, Ham, or Sam Smith. I think Sam Smith will win that one. That one I believe Sam Smith will win. Because Sam Smith is really likable. And here's the thing. Most people don't like Iggy Azalea. But there's not a lot of people who say they don't like Sam Smith. Okay? And for artists, new art, best new artist, I think Sam Smith is going to win. That's just my thinking. Iggy Azalea make hot songs, but everybody don't like her. It is what it is. I don't... I don't write the rules. I just report them. Okay. 
Um, best pop solo performance. All of Me by John Legend. Chandelier by Sia. Stay with me. Um, Sam Smith. Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. We're happy by Pharrell Williams. Um, these are hard this year. This shit was really good for music. Um, All of Me. I hate. Oh, I despise that song. It could win, though. But you know, as of late, with the other award shows that John Legend was nominated for, he didn't win shit. He won like little stuff, but he didn't win like a big award for this um this All of Me song. So it was a good song, but apparently it wasn't award worthy. Um, I'm giving this award to what is this category again? Best pop solo performance. Oh, I need to see them perform this. Oh, I didn't see no performance, so I'll let that one go. No, I won't. I'll give it to um, Taylor Swift. Shake it up, shake it up. Cause you're gonna give Taylor Swift a Grammy. You're going to for this. For this, you're going to give her something for this. Um, Academy, you're gonna give her something for this. Not playing. Got me behind the damn album. Okay, best pop duo group performance. Fancy by Iggy Azalea with Charlie XCX. Sky Full of Stars by Coldplay. Say Something um, by A Great Big World with Chris Aguilera. Bang Bang into the Room. Jesse J. Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj and Dark Horse by Katy Perry featuring Juicy J. And Dark Horse isn't going to win. As much as I love that song. Bang Bang has a chance and Fancy also has a chance. Um, say something I'm giving up on you. Okay, that's gonna, I'm going to have to cut this video in half. But I think um, I'm giving this award to I'm going to give it to Bang Bang. I really do because Bang Bang was amazing. But I told y'all, I think Iggy is going to snatch wigs. I really do. But I'm going to put my neck on the line and say Bang Bang is going to win for best, what is this? Best pop duo group performance. So with that, this is only half of the nominations. The other half will be over there because I'm not making no 14-minute video. So check those out on the other side, part two. So we love you guys for watching. Peace.